In this video, you will learn how to create a function that can emit multiple values through a stream. If you want to follow along and do the examples I do, you need to install the Dart SDK or the Flutter SDK. The Dart SDK is just going to enable you to build plain Dart programs, but if you want to build mobile apps too, you will need the Flutter SDK. In this video, we'll just make a plain Dart application, but in the future tutorials, we'll use Flutter. So just install the Flutter SDK and you'll be fine. I will leave a link in the description to a tutorial that shows you how to install it. The goal of this tutorial is to create a stream and consume it in our main function. Just a side note, if you are a beginner, you should be aware that the main function is the starting point of a Dart application. Alright, so the first thing we have to do is build our stream. The stream we create will emit 10 integers with one second gap between each emission. The way we create a stream function as Dart is just by declaring it like any other function. Set the return type to stream and we can give that stream a type parameter. Also we have to make that function async and add the asterisk at the end. The async function with an asterisk is what enables us to emit values from within the function. In order to emit a value from our function we use the yield keyword. And now the way we subscribe to a stream function is by calling that function and just use the listen method. The listen method takes in a high order function that executes every time a new value is emitted by the stream. Alright, so now let's implement this in our Dart app. We have an empty main function, which as I mentioned is the starting point of a Dart program. One more thing that we will create is a function that will emit 10 integers. I want the function to emit the value 1, then pause for a second, then emit the value 2, and pause for another second, and so on until we get to 10. So we'll create a function that has a return type of stream of int and is an async function with an asterisk at the end. Then we'll just create a for loop that loops from 1 to 10. Then we'll use the yield keyword to emit the value of our counter and then use the future.delayed method to pause the thread for one second. If you're not familiar with futures, you should check out the video where I explained the basics of async programming and futures. Now in our main function I'll just call the getNumbers method which will return a stream and then I'll use the listen method to listen for new values. In the listen callback I'll just print out the value so we can see the values getting emitted. Let's run the program we wrote to see if this works. If you installed Dart properly you should be able to go to the command line, navigate to the directory where your Dart app is located and run the app using the Dart command. To run the app with the Dart command, you would just write Dart along with the name of the file. For me, it's going to be main.dart. As you can see, we're getting a new value every second. And when we get the last value from our stream, our program terminates. In the next part of this series, we'll explore different ways to get results from a stream. Today we saw one of them, and that is the listen method. 